Welcome to the Epic Animal Moments channel. This is the place to explore magical and captivating moments. In the animal kingdom, from heartwarming births to awe-inspiring egg-laying scenes. Just like with humans, the moment of birth in the wild is both sacred and perilous for animal mothers. Yet, if we bravely watch the entire journey, we'll discover that newborn animals are truly adorable and lovable. Join me as we witness the mysterious and vibrant moments of animal life. First, let's take a look at the red-footed tortoise laying eggs. The mother red-footed tortoise begins the egg-laying process during the breeding season, which usually takes place when weather and environmental conditions are favorable, such as high humidity and warm temperatures. Before laying eggs, the mother tortoise searches for a safe location, often a soft patch of ground or beneath tree cover, to make digging easier. Using her hind legs, she skillfully digs a small hole, deep enough to hide the eggs from predators and protect them from environmental impacts. After laying her eggs, the mother tortoise gently places them in a hole and covers them with soil or leaves to maintain moisture and temperature. She leaves the eggs to develop on their own. After four to six months, the hatchlings emerge, breaking through the soil to start their The corn snake is a non-venomous species commonly found in the southeastern United States. During the breeding season, the female searches for a warm, moist place to lay her eggs, such as under leaf piles, in burrows, or within layers of mulch. Once she finds a safe spot, the female corn snake lays about 10 to 30 eggs in a clutch, depending on her size and health. The mother corn snake does not care for the eggs, but leaves them to develop on their own. The eggs take about 60 to 70 days to hatch, depending on the environmental temperature. Warm conditions help the eggs develop better and faster. When it's time to hatch, the young snakes break out of their shells on their own and begin independent lives, relying on instinct for hunting and self-defense. Next, let's take a look at the reproductive process in rock crabs. Rock crabs are dioecious and reproduce sexually. Mating occurs in the summer when the female is molting and has a soft shell. The female releases a pheromone in her urine to attract males and stimulate their behavior. The male usually guards the female as she prepares to molt by holding her beneath his body, sometimes for several weeks. He then continues to protect the female until her new outer shell develops and hardens. The eggs are fertilized internally and pushed out after about 11 weeks. A female can carry between 172,000 and 597,000 eggs on the pleopods, abdominal legs, under her abdomen, resembling an orange, spongy mass. Breeding mantises is a challenging and exciting step, far beyond simply keeping them as pets. It's an engaging and rewarding experience, but also requires patience and skill. To begin, you need pairs of mature male and female mantises at the right time. 
it's essential to supervise them closely to prevent the female from eating the male before mating. After successful mating, the female will lay eggs in a case called an uthaka. Your task is to care for the uthaka, providing ideal conditions to ensure healthy nymphs hatch, beginning a fascinating new life cycle for the mantis. When properly cared for, the uthaka will hatch, releasing dozens to hundreds of tiny nymphs. These young mantises are entirely independent from birth and will quickly spread out to hunt small prey. As they grow, they will molt several times, with each molt bringing them closer to their adult form. Witnessing this transformation is incredibly rewarding, as each stage reveals the mantis's intricate features and unique hunting skills. The American lobster, found along the Atlantic coast from Labrador to New Jersey, reproduces by laying eggs. The female carries fertilized eggs under her abdomen for about 9 to 12 months, protecting them until they hatch. The eggs range in color from orange to brown and gradually darken as they approach hatching time. Reproduction in redback spiders. After mating, the female stores sperm in one or both of her seminal receptacles. The stored sperm can be used to fertilize multiple batches of eggs over a period of up to two years estimated from studies of closely related species. However, she typically resumes pheromone production about three months after mating, signaling her receptiveness to mate again. A female redback spider can lay between 4 and 10 egg sacs, each sac approximately 1 cm 0.39 in in diameter and containing an average of 250 eggs, though this can range from as few as 40 to as many as 500. She prepares a shallow concave disc about 3 mm 1 8 in in diameter to lay the eggs, a process taking about 5 minutes, followed by spinning additional silk to complete the spherical egg sac, with the entire process taking roughly an hour and a half. She can produce a new egg sac as soon as one, two, three weeks after the previous one. 